wonderful people i welcome you all to basikar recently i uploaded a video on how to make millet banku i made mention of two processes of getting the dough after watching the video a lot of people wanted to know the other process of getting the dough let's get started have a lot of millet over here and I'm going to use the manual milling machine if you don't have it fako nike nika wa gana hadi nike nika wa hadi ndu tumi diko nike nika eko yam After everything, no, me transfer into a bowl. Now, my fitting more, you know. At this point, it's so so very important. Use your discretion. The water shouldn't be too much. Mash it till it's uniform. So here we are forming the dough now. the consistency i'm going in for let it rest for 24 hours after 24 hours it's going to change in color a bit and you see some part like um foam on it or something like that don't panic it's still the same thing and still useful
wow look at it after 24 hours this is the outcome change of color a bit and a bit of fermentation depending on what i'm using it for i'm going to divide it into two parts where i'll get I'll, I'll roll some in a bowl form and some will put it in the poly bag one in the bowl form will be used for porridge fura bukina and the likes where the one in the poly bag will be used for banku millet dough is all done now i'm gonna set this one aside and work on the one that i'll put in the poly bag so with this it can last for days weeks months years all you have to do is to put it in a, a poly bag or ziploc bag put it in the fridge and you're good to go oh with this if banku you want to prepare you just grab it in the fridge and you go ahead add your condo and you're good to go if it's kinky to you just grab it do what you have to do if it's porridge you just have to add um, spices to it and you're good to go anything at all you want to do with this you can do with it this is simple to make right this is all done see you in my next video thanks for watching